everybody, Matt here from Bogey Proof. Coming to you from my room here, Connecticut. Giving you guys a little what's in the bag preview before I head down to Florida with my golf trip that we talked about on the podcast the last couple weeks. So we'll get right into it here. We'll start at the top with a driver like Eric did. I got Titleist 917, 10 and a half degrees. I haven't touched a single setting on this thing. I probably never will. Probably the best club in my bag. Uh, hit a lot of fairies with this thing. So everything, you know, pretty much right off the shelf from stock stiff shaft, 10 and a half degrees untouched, no crazy settings there. Uh, this is definitely my bread and butter club. Uh, next thing we'll do, the old three wood. I don't use this really a lot, to be honest, but another Titleist, uh, we got the 915 here, 15 degrees. Um, again, stiff shaft, kind of heavy. I got 82 grams in here, probably the wrong shaft if we're being totally honest, but it is what it is. I don't use it a ton, so it works. It kind of keeps the ball low. I can hit some couple different shots with this that I don't normally have in the bag. Uh, next thing we got here, hybrid. We got TaylorMade Rocket Ball Stage 2. This is an oldie, probably one of the older clubs in my bag, if we're being honest. Um, three hybrid, 19 degrees. I've had this thing back since high school. This has been one of my more commonly used clubs throughout the years. Uh, it's actually got a three wood shaft in it that's cut down. Uh, stiff shaft again, but yeah, the old hybrid shaft on this, I believe was snapped at one point or another. And then back when I was working at uh, the local golf course in town, replaced it myself with a three wood shaft and just cut it down to hybrid length. A little bit lighter, a little stiffer than uh, what it says, but gets the job done. And then from there, we'll get right into the irons here got again everything's pretty standard in mine i don't have too many custom or like i didn't get fit for any of these clubs but uh stiff shaft dynamic golds uh titleist ap2s but the 712 so again kind of older these actually might be older than the hybrid if we're being honest these i got whew, senior year of high school so they, they've got some got some miles on them for sure um but yeah looking forward to you know, putting these in actions down in Florida. Uh, I got golf pride grips on these. I got this all the way throughout the bag, kind of a split cord with you know, whatever the different colors are I used to get. I got the all black ones. And then last couple things here, we get into the wedges. I, my club setup here is a little bit different than most people. The lowest or the highest loft, I guess, the lowest wedge I go is actually a 56. I don't have a true lob wedge in my bag. Um, just given the golf courses I play in New England, I find I have a lot more value with a three iron and a three hybrid versus a 56 and a 60. So I got the 56, I have a 52 as well. Uh, Titleist Vokies, SM7s. They're actually probably getting a little old too, but, but one of the newer ones, still pretty good. Uh, get the job done. And then last, but certainly not least, this has probably been the reason for my improvement in my golf game the last four or five years since college i finally switched from an old scotty blade to the TaylorMade spider mallet uh, i need a little more weight to my putter to help my putting stroke out and this kind of did the trick for me so TaylorMade spider tour it's one of the older ones i think it's like the jason day one like the aussie model or whatever back when they were making a couple different looks at this but pretty standard um again i think it's like 34 inches so maybe a touch shorter than most but yeah TaylorMade spider usually a big big uh big change i made a few years ago that i think has paid the most dividends in my golf game and then once we get into some more of the you know details here this tailor made bag is old as shit kind of ignore that but we got i usually play let's see if i got any even in here yeah, i usually play like pro v1 x's the titleist i don't know why i chose the x's over the pro v1s to be honest but i did back in high school i kind of stuck with it ever since um see if I got any good ball markers in here for you guys. I'm a poker chip guy. Uh, I know Eric had a couple cool ball markers, but I really just use the same like four or five poker chips, kind of just rotate through them depending on the day. Let's see if I can get any at the top here. Oh boy. We got tees everywhere. Yeah, poker chip guy. This is a Pioneer's one I pulled out. I got a few good ones, a few different courses. Tory, I got. I got the Country Club. I try to grab one at every uh, kind of big course I go to, but 
Yeah, that's kind of the gist for me and my what's in the bag. Uh, I think other than that, oh, glove. I got this guy. I kind of use this as a range one. It's just an old glove. Uh, I use that when I'm just beating balls. I don't want to waste kind of newer gloves, but I play the pretty stock gloves. There's foot joy weather softs. Um, yeah, I think that brings you through my bag. I mean, if we want to go down to the towel, I got like a Tiger Woods towel here. Shout out to Goat. Um, I don't really use it too often, to be honest, but I got it in there. And uh, yeah, other than that, not a whole lot to it, but as you can see, Titleist Sky pretty much through and through. A couple tailor-made pieces with the hybrid and the putter, but yeah, that's my uh, what's in the bag.